that in this life if you are to set if you are to set anything in my life on fire there are three things i'm going to request for number one my books my books not books i read books that represent the visions of my destiny then maybe number two my phone when i get that one burn everything to ashes it means nothing to me you must come to a point i'm not teaching you irresponsibility i'm teaching you how to gain things in the spirit we gain by losing we gain by losing everything you cannot lose is what satan will hold on to and destroy your life some of us will never marry because we can't lose relationships there is such allegiance to it you can go to hell fire with the with the brother there are people who love ministry more than God. God says, leave ministry, God forbid. They, they are so obsessed about being men of God that they will leave God's presence to be men of God. Sacrifice. He says, gather unto me my saints. They that have made a covenant. Hallelujah. You see a Jimmy here? Let me tell you a little story about him. I remember the first crusade let me tell you a little the history of this ministry huh it's only koinonia that is five years the ministry is not five years when we started our first crusade this was the person who designed the poster he was the only one who had a computer i will never forget now i'm not teaching you to do it he deliberately carried over a course because of that crusade deliberately was the best student in his set but it was a sacrifice it was not just being stupid i'm not saying all these crazy things people do around no but this was his heart was in it he designed the poster the shirts for the crusade the ladies the first sets of ladies in this ministry when we went to the place of the crusade they climbed trees to plug the firewood they were members of welfare they were members of worship one of the times we'll show you the video aaron victor you see all it was not protocol now that time they were members of technical they would carry the equipment on their head and climb a mountain like hill and you see them singing and dancing sacrifice i will never forget one of the nights after the meeting I was so tired I slept up with my suit it was one lady who came and removed my shoe she's married now not flesh not lost passion backed up by sacrifice that's what you see today people laid down their finances one time we were in need of so much money and a Jimmy carried his entire uh, computer then and he just put on sale who wants to buy so that more it, it was never god is my witness i never ate my scholarship once once everything for the king what are you willing to lay down to go up god will not just appear to you he's not an idiot he takes sacrifice are we together right now someone is playing keyboard here he's already frowning at you and say i need fifty thousand every month that that guy my talent must be rewarded you see let me tell you that's why we never grow in the kingdom by the grace of god i know and i love the workers in this ministry they walk their life out sacrifice someone arrange you must begin to look at life from a cost dimension not just a pleasure dimension lazy and weak people are the ones who want others to do it and then we enjoy it we like a wolf that's why we are poor and broke in africa somebody do it for me but a true leader knows that it has to be your shoulder that others will climb up are we together sacrifice we want money no sacrifice nothing for the kingdom no commitment everything is for me myself there are times god will just instruct me and say carry your clothes carry this and sew them and i'm releasing it to go i think the workers know and, and i say it with all humility 
a man who came from Kaduna State, very clean, beautiful car, came and packed it and said, Man of God, the Lord instructed that I honor you this. And I laughed. And the Lord told me, Don't collect it. I, now I'm not doubting whether God sent him or not, but I know what God told me. And I said, Pastor, I love you and I bless you. I pray for you, but take your car. The power to lay it down. The power to lay it down. There are times people have honored me with seats in millions. And God has said, no, this is not for you. Transfer it. Whether for koinonia or distribute it to certain ministries. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you. If you do not have the power to lay down, you will never go. Are we together? That ability to release, you will look foolish doing it until his hand rises upon you. The power to lay down. What, what can you not give God? That's what we need to attack this night. I'm not bothered about what you have given him. There is an Isaac that you cannot give God. Some of us, you can give God everything but relationship. The day God says, Kai, Mr. Man, leave this sister. You will bind and cast and say, God, do any other thing but leave this one. And that becomes the devil's access point others is your beauty you can't lay it down even time to pray you are praying and looking and admiring yourself and doing all, all kinds of careless things in the presence of god others this sense of big manism there, there are too many nonsense that we need to lay down when you come before god you must come knowing that lord a man can have nothing except that which is given to him I love God more than Koinonia. I love you so much. You know that. But if God makes a demand today, I will look at you, cry like you, and wave my hands and say, Baba, I love you, but I love him. Do you love him that much? It's not just praying and say, God, give me power. We have to suspend the counseling temporarily. Those of you who come for the counseling know. I will begin to counsel people from morning, sometimes till 9, 10. This morning I was praying. I think he was there. They just dragged somebody who could not walk well from church. The family carried the car. They didn't even ask for permission. They had come for counseling once. So they knew my place. It was while they came to do something that he was going. I, I was just trying to rest because I had hardly slept. I was even weak. I needed to just rest small and pray. The heart of sacrifice. You want to do ministry. Many of us want crowd. Do you have the heart to attend to God's people? without demanding money without demanding money some of you here pastors you are looking at me scattered in the congregation if god gives you half the grace you are seeing you will drop those big on once uh, offering uh, uh, what they call it that container that basin one side and build people to bless them do you have the sacrifice most of the leaders you are seeing here many of them have not really broken their fast with food just took liquid and had to make sure everywhere is in order you may just come sit down enjoy the excellence and go back but your your breakthrough is riding on the pains of somebody god's system his kingdom will only ride on the shoulders of men when they change the method they died sacrifice is always the way to carry the ark it was supposed to be on the shoulder of priests. At a point, they said, no, no, no. Let's, let's use another technology. They made machines and God scattered it. The ark will always be on the shoulders of men. So every time you want something great, don't look at the crown. The other side of the equation is there is a sacrifice. God is my witness. And you can tell how many times I pray for myself. My prayer is for you. While you are sleeping and praying, change somebody's story. Change somebody's life. I don't know how many hours I've slept when this thing started. Sacrifice. Hallelujah. Are we together now? Sometimes you see me come late for koinonia. It's not just that I just sit down and cross my leg. We may be coming from a trip. Coming from somewhere. Straight. Not even to think of the issue of food. 
brothers and sisters there is no way around it it's through sacrifice are we together you must be able to lay something as the student people use all kinds of skills to pass exam cold water and they put their legs inside you think they like it sacrifice one hand is driving mosquitoes and the eyes painstakingly looking at the book it's called sacrifice you will see a lady tying her weave on through the rain and running through it to go and write exam sacrifice that's how it is in the spirit if you are unwilling to lay down something business people listen let me talk to you it takes sacrifice don't think you just wear suit and say i'm a ceo ceo of nonsense there there, there is tears there is pain the sacrifice the audacity to lay things down sometimes your profit is there for you to eat but you need to endure that's what is killing us in nigeria you start selling shoes you get five thousand naira. with the five thousand you buy a shoe and say see what god has done you come and testify here and be poor for the rest of your life sacrifice the, i like the evil people in this you will see an evil person who is a multi-millionaire for instance he will just make sure the resources he meets his basic needs with it while enduring the day you know he's rich is the day he will marry that's the day he will show you that my greeting you on sandals and eating yam on the street is not a sign of stupidity i'm i'm enduring the present for the future that sense of sacrifice we lack in our generation we want everything now sharp sharp you start ministry you want fifty thousand people we want to be like Oedeko, to build an auditorium of 1,000 capacity. As if he, start, he built it when he started the ministry. See? So, that sense of process, the sacrifice of going through process. Brothers, let me challenge you. We are going to pray, but I'm talking to you from my heart. Stop living a fake life. Don't try to look rich. Pay the price and be wealthy. Don't try to look it. Oh, my suit, my this. No, 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 no. Don't try to look anointed. Pay the price and be really anointed. Don't let any man fool you. It's not everything in the kingdom that is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Rewards of pay. Rewards of silent nights. Rewards of times where you will sit and say, Will the sun ever rise? And yet his voice comes to you. My grace is sufficient. Are we together what is happening to us here right now is sacrifice there are people right to the back some you people like i even lucky inside here there are people outside all the overflow standing praying who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice the macedonians did not just give their offering the bible says they gave of themselves can you sacrifice your strength to build the house of God some of you have been here for so long you've not joined any department you just stroll and roam around prayer department when you are you have some problems and just be enjoy yourself and run back sacrifice sacrifice I love people who who have have mastered the art of releasing things when I see a man who has affinity for anything, the person irritates me. Because I know that that person will infect me with a wrong spirit. Whosoever keeps his life shall lose it. Your fear of keeping it will make you lose it. But whosoever will lose it for my sake. Everything belongs to him. My money is God's money. And I mean it literally. My joy is his joy my life is his life there is nothing I've, I've asked god if there is anything i cannot give you in my life joshua selma tell me i will lay it down years ago god asked me said can you give me your life ah i thought about it i said no god i can't give you my life i can give you my i can donate myself for persecution and all of that but i can't give you my life and god did something to me i have the power to lay it down a dead man does not fear again because you are dead 
the reason let me tell you why many of you are afraid you are afraid of everything you are only afraid of what you think you have anything that has left you why do you fear it again you are, are you afraid of this water it's not your own they brought it for me if somebody wants to touch it the owner is the one who gets concerned if i want to touch a dreamy's child now pastor alpha will not react to his child because it's not your own is the owner of the child so you are reacting to things in life because you are the owner when you hand it over to god you will watch things like this and say god if you don't change it that's your cup of tea that's how i do ministry i never give myself headache to say oh god my reputation i i left it to him since if god stands to watch me fall his cup of tea put pressure on god with your sacrifice let god know that your life means nothing to you compared to him and you will see god move in ways that will shock you are you willing to lay it down are you willing to lay it down or this holy is my money that's what made many of our parents poor my money my house and god said maintain it since it's your own May, you must maintain it so the economy knows dives and you know dive with it but when you hand it over to god bishop oyedeko said the day they were dedicating covenant university the lord asked him lie down on the ground in the presence of everybody and hand over this institution to me and he did so and god visited him we are going to pray right now lift up your isaac that thing that you have refused to lay down and say god it belongs to you it belongs to you and i mean it literally if you make a demand of it i will release it to now i receive the power to lay down lift your voice and pray the power to lay down my business the power to lay down ministry the power to lay down your joy your ambition the power to lay down your accolade the power to lay it down Lord, I have no affinity for anything, 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 anything. belongs to you oh, oh it all belongs to you it all belongs to you oh, oh it all belongs to you shared my story i went to port Harcourt with 800 naira 800 naira they escorted me to the park and i went i dropped at number 23 Equerry street 800 naira home and abroad and a bag that was given as a seed i will never forget an instruction god gave me one time it was christ embassy prosperity convention Reverend Eddie Owasi, evangelist. 
and challenge people to sow others were sowing cars land i didn't even have anything like that but i remember going there i carried literally god is my witness all my clothes my rechargeable lantern and everything i zipped the bag i laid my hands on it and prayed in tongues for three hours at a stretch i said lord this is all i have to give you this is all i have to give i must break the back of poverty what my father did not give me let me give my children i will